So welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to look at the uh, smaller time frame analysis and the longer time frame analysis on gold and silver. Uh, gold is in front of you on an hourly time frame chart. We were expecting for the price to actually continue this behavior right over here. Instead, the prices have come down and created a new low as even uh, which is lower than the previous low right over here. This is actually worrying. Right now, you're looking at a different structure. You're expecting that this uh, structure, the previous structure, got complete somewhere over here. And then you're expecting that this should actually continue on. Uh, reverse that. Right now, the way that the prices have taken a lot more time right, right over here too. So even though I'm pretty sure still a lot of people would be considering that this is wave one and two and three uh, and four or some sort of right over here, some sort of triangle and then prices came down. Uh, I am expecting that no, this is looking very, very, uh, it's taking a lot of time to complete. So in that case, my, I'm favoring that this is going to be the correction of the previous wave. In that case, we can see that the previous structure that we had has nothing to do with this structure. Because earlier we were considering this as an A, a B, and a C structure. Either it's going to complete somewhere over here. Right now, uh, from this bottom, I can say that we have completely a five wave structure. So I can now start seeing the structure as wave one and two and wave three and wave four and wave five. This is what I'm seeing right now. And I'm expecting that this is actually going to be a corrective pattern complete uh, correcting the previous uh, impulsive structure. If that is the case, we are going to see that in that case, we are definitely bearish. And I think this is more and more the case going to be. And uh, the reason we need to keep an eye on is that we got rejected on a major, major point uh, on a daily time frame. So we need to look and give importance to this information. We have one second and the third. So this is the third rejection from the same level. And this is very important. Uh, so we are not going to take it lightly, especially when we are seeing a 5 wave structure followed by a correction. Then we are going to see expecting the prices to go down uh, to the neckline right over here. And the next resistance is going to be uh, the start of the previous structure right over here. So this is what I'm seeing right now. And then we'll discuss more. Um, I have done some very good in, uh, research, more research on gold and silver. Uh, so first we're going to look at this and then we'll do more commentary. Uh, let's have a look at a 15-minute chart, uh, actually an hourly chart, and see what we are seeing right now. So I'm considering this as an A wave, this as wave B, and I'm expecting that this is going to be wave C. The resistance is expected to be somewhere around this region right over here. This region has been very, very powerful. We have seen a lot of rejection in this area, and I'm expecting that even though we are going to see a 5 wave structure, uh, we are not expecting for the prices to continue to go beyond that. It means the... Uh, we are not going to see a regular flat correction, but we are going to see a flat correction in which wave C is not actually going to create a double top with uh, the end of wave A. We have already completed wave 1 and wave 2, and I'm expecting that a jump up and then come sharply priced down and then go over here is uh, expected in uh, in gold. Uh, what if we can look at this structure right over here, we have wave A and a wave B and a C. This completes one structure. We have wave A, wave B, and wave C, which is the innermost structure. And then we have wave A, wave B, and wave C. Uh, we, this is the kind of another structure that I'm seeing. So there are structures within structure within structure. That's what I'm considering right now. Well, I'll repeat once again. I'm looking at this structure as wave A and wave B and wave C. And within this structure, we can say wave A, wave B, and wave C. And outside this structure, we have wave A, wave B, and wave C, creating a zigzag pattern, or the double zigzag, you can call it. And then this is a three-wave structure, a three-wave structure, and right now I'm expecting a five-wave structure, completing the correction. And then I think we will turn bearish. And this looks more likely. Let's draw the the channel to see give us any uh, more idea about the, the price structure. I drew it the other way around. Give me a moment, guys. So, uh, okay, instead of extending over here, we can extend it to wave 3. 
this is good. And we can also bring the so you can extend right over here. Give this will give us the price is expected to go one and uh, one fourth of the previous move if this is considered the top and if you consider this as the top in that case we are seeing that price is expected to go somewhere over in this region just short of three of eight so i think uh, this is more elegant right over here let's delete that so you can actually see so i'm seeing that we uh, we are going to be uh, completing this structure and turn bearish on on gold this is the analysis uh, for short term in gold let's have a look at silver and see how we can actually see silver now silver has created more bearish action than we we are seeing in in gold all right Can we actually go and create something like this? Less likely, but we can take chance that prices are can and are gonna go that deep. I'm expecting that this area is important. I'm expecting that this area is important. We can clearly see the behavior. We have head and sh uh, shoulder pattern right over here. And this is a neckline area. Prices have dropped below the neckline this is the beginning of the previous pattern so there's a possibility that we are going to actually test this area and once again it's going to be a triple move in that case we can expect that triple zigzag is expected so a five-year structure followed by a correction another five-year four structure followed by a structure and uh, corrective structure definitely definitely will turn bearish uh, for silver as well and if that structure is complete and we start going bearish we need to see what's actually happening on a larger time frame. So, in that case, if this happens, uh, our next target for silver is going to be the first resistance is going to be right over here, and the next resistance is going to be over here. The larger head and shoulder pattern is also forming. We need to keep an eye. This is one shoulder. We have another head right over here, and this is another shoulder right over here, which will bring this area as a neckline and this area would be the start of the structure. So we gotta keep an eye on both head and shoulder patterns. Uh, I'm expecting a bit of bullish uh, price movement upward on uh, gold and silver for the next couple of days, I would say. And every time it goes up, a deeper correction is expected, something like this, right? So anytime it came down and then a deeper correction happened, deep. So this that would be a single of a, a, a triple zigzag pattern. I hope that uh, we are going to see some very good price movement in gold and silver. Wish you guys good luck with your trading. Uh, I'm doing some long-term analysis for gold and silver, and uh, probably next week we'll be able to see more data, or we can actually wait and see uh, how the prices of gold and silver go. Uh, are we going to see a double bottom reforming right over here? In that case, we can do more analysis in this area. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one, and bye-bye.